Hi guys, today I will do a teardown of this uh, vintage uh, cer ceramics heater I found at the flea market because in fact uh, I got it for one euro half of a ceramic element is not uh, making it anymore so it is uh, from 1997 from uh, Supra, a French company it seems it is not written where it is made, but it is probably made in China. And it seems it is a quite a nice quality, in fact. The box is uh, very strong. And it has uh, some features. So you can see this uh, small control panel on the top here. And it looks like we have some uh, microcontroller control. Because when I uh, plug uh, the mains... Uh, Power. Here is what happens. You can see the LEDs are making a little pattern, and then it uh, turns off. If I want to turn on, I have to press this button. This uh, the membrane and the thing is. Uh, the overlay here is uh, uh, quite uh, worn out. And now it is working, but uh, it is not eating at all, in fact. No. So you have uh, power control here, and the fan will uh, change its speed also. And it seems we have a security feature because if I tip it over, it stops. Also, when you turn it off, the fan will continue to uh, turn for a few seconds to heat the, uh, to evacuate the heat in the ceramic element. So it is quite nice. Let's unplug the cord and have a look in it. So you can see uh, the plastic is uh, very, very uh, yellowed here. This thing has seen better days for sure. I did never take one of them apart, so I was interested to see how it is made. Even if uh, Geek Group did make an uh, autopsy video with one uh, eater of this kind. I will maybe link it in the description so you can see the big uh, screws here, self-tapping screws. I have two more at the bottom. I'll try to do it fast. By the way, I need a new power screwdriver. I need I did break with my mine and I need another one. Okay. So what do we have it here? Well, as you can see, here is the heater element. Quite a lot of wires going to it. Some uh, temperature sensor here. The LED from the front panel here. And uh, yes, 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 it seems quite nice. I can see. Uh, so the fan has a nice uh, die cast aluminium. Housing very nicely made, and uh, here I can see an uh, Intel microcontroller Intel copyright uh, 1980. Very, very old thing, it seems. It is socketed, it is uh, either C2317188 or CC1510. Here we have a mercury switch for the tip of our uh, sensing. So obviously this thing is not uh, Aero HS compliant. So I can just cut the wires anyway. It will be more efficient. So first I will go in this part here. So how does it look like? 
if I remove the four screws, quite long ones. So I have seen other designs of uh, ceramic elements. This one is quite weird, it is like a uh, sink uh, thing. Here is the front uh, grid. Then, what do we have in here? These parts are in a really, really hard plastic. Very nice. We have an over uh, temperature uh, over heat switch here, which will cut the current if it is too hot. It seems with a little uh, heat conductive part here, just a steel part. Then uh, another temperature uh, switch here, and the heating element. So it is quite weird. It seems we have so the middle uh, wire here is a uh, ground color, but I am not sure if it is connected, actually connected to ground or not. We will try to figure it later. And then we have yes, I think it is in two parts maybe. And uh, I do not see obvious damage or on the thing. So I would like to know where are the resistive elements. Because all this is metal and all this is connected together. Yes, we have uh, the, these plates here. Must be uh, ceramic uh, elements. And I'm not, not sure it is a weird technology. So, it, ah. as you can see, does this conduct electricity or is it an insulated part? I have no clue at all. So, we will try to see what happens with the ammeter. Let's see between this point here and this uh, pad here. Not here. No, it seems we have nothing. So it is completely uh, insulating. And here, if I take uh, this element. Oh, excuse me. It will work better if a lid is connected. So let's start it over. Here and here. Yes, now it is conducting. 37 kilo ohms. 28 kilo ohms. This is insulating material. And this element here. 13 kilo ohms, 14. We have a number written here, but it is uh, almost uh, erased. Well, okay, then next part the electronics on the fan. I have one screw here. Need obviously to cut more wires. This one is not easy to get. And here. So, on the fan case, you have a, a grounding logo, but I am sure it is properly grounded. Oh, interesting. You can see the immense uh, lid here. In fact, yes. We have no ground in the lind, so it is not grounded at all. 
the plastic uh, case is uh, responsible for insulating it. In you can see quite nice uh, design here. Seems the men's wire is designed to be replaced or quite uh, modular at least. Then uh, last part, so you can see the fan. It is a pretty serious one. If I cut this and this and this, so. it should come off. In fact, I'm sure. Yes. Very, very hard, but it comes off. Okay, so you have a fan. There is no sticker on it. About uh, who made it. But it seems to be quite uh, decent quality. Then uh, here, it is the men's. Uh, Power switching board, you can see little transformer here. This uh, resistor did uh, it very much, it seems. And we have two, maybe they are triax BTA 1 2 and BTA 1 2 also with little heat sinking uh, parts. And uh, it is interesting, look here, we have some kind of header connector but it was not connected to anything oh excuse me it was connected here it did uh, uh, disconnect so yes so the two bars are connected with, with this either it is a nice design but it is completely loose maybe it is a cause of failure it needs to be connected here so in fact it is interesting because you have one row of contacts in the header here, but it is a two row header. And uh, yes, here you have the main control board, control panel with a small uh, LEDs. Maybe it can be reused for something, this quite nice. You can see the uh, main, uh, the LED for, for, from the front panel is uh, wired out from uh, this uh, point here where you have a uh, LED uh, drawing on the uh, C screen. Then here we have the uh, Intel IC microcontroller. Not sure if it is actually made by Intel or if it is just the copyright from them. Some trim pot here. Uh, CD 4106BE and the Mercury switch, which I will definitely keep because it is very useful to have. And you do not see them anymore by now. Here you have, uh, it looks like a diode, but not, it is, uh, I think it is uh, NTC, it is written, so it must be a temperature sensor of some kind, and it was almost in the airflow. You can see this uh, aluminum part here, nicely uh, screwed in place with a machine screw. And a bolt, really nice. You see lots of dust on this side. Okay, so uh, this uh, PCB here is really, really badly uh, burnt out. Nothing more, yes, so it must be. So the way, way, uh, yellow wire from the ceramic element comes here to this uh, switching the component. So it is definitely not a grounding wire of any kind. 
maybe I can take it more. Yes. So it may be the cause of a failure, in fact. Maybe some of this uh, paths were not uh, making contact uh, correctly anymore. Greedy and weren't designed. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.